Mercury, the closest planet to the sun and the smallest in the solar system. But don't let size fool you. This tiny world is a place of epic extremes. Imagine standing on a surface blasted with craters, no atmosphere to protect you, the sun glaring down like a cosmic blowtorch. Temperatures can swing from a bone-shattering minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit at night to a lava melting 800 degrees Fahrenheit by day. That's what happens when you have no atmosphere, just raw, naked rock. Mercury is named after the Roman messenger god, and it races around the sun in just 88 Earth days. That means you'd have four birthdays a year. But the real kicker? A single day on Mercury, from one sunrise to the next, lasts about 176 Earth days. That's because it spins so slowly while orbiting so fast. And inside? Mercury hides an unusually massive iron core, making up 85% of its volume. Some scientists think it used to be much bigger, until something slammed into it and stripped away its outer layers. Oh, and despite being cooked by the sun, there's water ice in craters at its poles. Because those deep shadows never see sunlight, Mercury is like a cosmic fossil, preserving the violent history of the early solar system. Now say hello to Venus, Earth's evil twin. Same size, same mass, but everything else, nightmare fuel. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system, even hotter than Mercury. Why? Runaway greenhouse effect. Its thick atmosphere, full of carbon dioxide and clouds of sulfuric acid, traps heat like a furnace. Surface temps stay around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, day and night, pole to pole. And the pressure? It's like being a mile underwater. Venus's sky is filled with acid rain that evaporates before it even hits the ground. Oh, and get this, one day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days. That's longer than its year. It spins backwards, so the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Despite all this chaos, Venus might have once had oceans and a milder climate, but something went wrong, horribly wrong, and it became a runaway inferno. Some recent evidence even suggests there might be signs of microbial life floating high in its clouds. If that's true, Venus would be proof that life can survive even in hell. Now take a breath, because we're back on Earth, the only known planet with life, the jackpot, the miracle. Earth has everything, liquid water, oxygen, weather, tectonic plates, seasons, oceans, forests, cities, life. All thanks to its perfect position in the habitable zone. Not too hot, not too cold. Earth formed over four and a half billion years ago from swirling dust and gas. It has a magnetic field that shields us from radiation, a moon that stabilizes our tilt, and plate tectonics that keep the surface evolving. Earth's atmosphere is about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and it's just right for breathing, burning, and living. But here's the deal. This planet is rare, very rare. And if you wreck it, there's no backup. So let's protect this pale blue dot. Mars, the red planet, a world coated in rusty iron dust with skies tinged in burnt orange. It's cold, dry, and dead, but maybe not always. Mars once had rivers, lakes, maybe even oceans. Its surface is etched with ancient valleys and dried up riverbeds. Which raises one massive question. Was Mars once alive? Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the entire solar system, rises three times higher than Everest. And Valles Marineris, a canyon system so vast it could stretch across the entire United States. Mars spins just like Earth, giving it 24.6 hour days and its seasons change due to a similar axial tilt. But temperatures? They swing from a comfortable 70 degrees Fahrenheit to a brutal negative 195 degrees Fahrenheit. Its two lumpy moons, Phobos and Deimos, look like captured asteroids, and one of them, Phobos, is doomed to crash into Mars or break into a ring. Today, robotic rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance crawl its surface, digging into the dirt, searching for signs of ancient life. And soon, it won't just be robots. Humans are coming. Within the next few decades, we could be walking on Martian soil. And that changes everything. Jupiter, the king of the solar system, a swirling giant made of gas, big enough to hold 1300 Earths. This beast doesn't have a solid surface, just layers of clouds and storms. Its atmosphere is striped with violent wind bands, spinning in opposite directions, crashing into each other, fueling chaos. And at its heart, the great red spot, a storm so massive 
it could swallow Earth whole. And it's been raging for centuries. Jupiter rotates fast. One day lasts just 10 hours. That speed fuels storms that never stop. It also has the strongest magnetic field of any planet. And it shoots out auroras at its poles that could light up entire cities. And the moons? Jupiter has at least 95 of them. Four are enormous, the Galilean moons. Io, covered in lava lakes. Callisto, a scarred ice ball. Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. And Europa, a frozen world that may hide an ocean under its icy crust. Scientists believe that ocean might be teeming with life. If we ever find alien fish or microbes, it might be under Europa's shell. Then there's Saturn, the jewel of the solar system. Elegant, enormous, and surrounded by the most breathtaking rings you've ever seen. These rings stretch over 175,000 miles wide, but are less than a mile thick. Made of ice chunks and rock, they reflect sunlight like a cosmic halo. Saturn is massive, second only to Jupiter, but lightweight enough to float in a bathtub. Its atmosphere is layered with ammonia clouds, and winds can whip at over 1,100 miles per hour. Saturn's magnetic field is powerful, its storms are frequent, and its moons? Legendary. Titan, bigger than Mercury, has lakes and rivers of liquid methane. It's so cold, it rains gasoline. Beneath Titan's icy surface, there may be another hidden ocean. And then there's Enceladus, one of Saturn's smaller moons, shooting water geysers out into space. Where there's water, there might be life. That's why Saturn's system is one of the top priorities for future missions. It's more than beautiful. It's a mystery box of potential life. Now, things get weird. Welcome to Uranus, the planet that rolls through space like a bowling ball. Tilted 98 degrees, Uranus spins on its side. Its poles take turns facing the sun. So, one pole gets 42 years of daylight, followed by 42 years of night. That means its seasons last decades. And even though it's bigger than Earth, Uranus is often overlooked. But it's wild. Temperatures drop to negative 371 degrees Fahrenheit, making it the coldest planet in the solar system. Its blue-green color comes from methane gas in the atmosphere which absorbs red light and reflects blue. And beneath those clouds lies a core wrapped in icy water, ammonia, and methane, which is why Uranus is called an ice giant. It has faint rings, barely visible, and at least 27 moons, many named after characters from Shakespeare. Uranus is mysterious, tilted, quiet, but full of secrets we've barely touched. And finally, Neptune, the farthest known planet from the sun, deep, cold, and violently alive. Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system, with gusts reaching over 1,200 miles per hour, faster than the speed of sound. It's an ice giant with a thick atmosphere of hydrogen, helium, and methane, giving it that rich, deep blue color. Dark storms swirl across its face, coming and going like hurricanes made of ice. One of its moons, Triton, is a strange one. It orbits backwards, a clue that it didn't form with Neptune. It was likely captured. Triton is icy, volcanic, and spews out nitrogen geysers into space. It might even have a subsurface ocean, just like Europa. Neptune is far, cold, and dim but it's full of drama. So let's zoom out. Eight planets, each one with its own flavor of madness. From Mercury's heat to Neptune's storms, the solar system is a cosmic masterpiece. Beautiful, chaotic, unpredictable. And this? This is just one star's family. There are trillions more out there, with planets we've never seen. But for now, this is home and it's glorious. If this journey blew your mind, smash that subscribe, hit like, and join us as we explore other future topics. Thanks for watching.